Now, someone that's into bodybuilding that wants to look leaner, it comes down to adjusting macros for your specific body. So not everybody's gonna get in shape of low carb. Love, now the niggas feel what I want. Now the niggas fold what I cope. Now the niggas gone but I'm home. Now the niggas up. Always check. Lost on this road. Couple niggas gave up, they go. Gang of niggas traded, they sold. But me, I'm standing on ten toes. All right, peeps, we are now back home. So let's get into the topic. All right, when it comes to this topic, I'm gonna try and put it in very basic terms as to why this isn't the case and try and keep it very beginner level because I feel like when you use overcomplicated words, just to try and sound smart, I, you just kind of alienate some of the audience that don't know some of the terminology. Uh, keeping it nice and simple and basic is probably easier for most of us to kind of follow. I know it would be easier for when I started. Is reducing carbs the only way you can lose body fat? I already gave you the spoiler alert, the answer is no. But I want to address the reason why many people may think this. But let me just state, people lose weight on high fat diet, low carbs. People lose weight on higher carbs, lower fat diets. People can lose weight if they just do some sort of lifestyle that creates a massive deficit. Whether it's doing, eating what they normally eat, but a sport, uh, whether it's football, tennis, whatever it is, anything that creates a large deficit will help get you to a point where you're losing weight. When it comes to bodybuilding, obviously we talk about cutting, which is different to losing weight because the art of cutting is you're trying to retain muscle while losing body fat, so your physique looks more shredded. But when it comes down to losing weight while losing body fat, you don't specifically have to go straight onto a low carb diet. That's not the way. A lot of people think about that because of this one reason. A beginner, for example, will go on YouTube and type in how to lose body fat or cutting journey or cutting vlogs. They'll watch some like person that's pretty lean talk about it. But what they're doing is they're probably watching someone's vlog near the end, like say Summer Shredding, 90 days. They're not looking at day one where the person only gradually is adjusting their calories. So because they're a beginner, they're like, I wanna get shredded. So they click on the thumbnail that has the person the most shredded, which is already a large portion down the journey. It's probably more like day 80, day 85, day, day 70. So when you skip all the beginning stages when the person is literally losing weight by just having more of a deficit from doing more daily expenditure, whether it comes to a little bit of cardio, a deficit in calories across the board, or reducing a little bit of fat, a little bit of carbs, and trying to keep your protein high. In essence, when it comes to losing weight, body fat, whatever, it's calories in versus calories out. So that is what helps you lose weight. This is just the top layer, this is just calories. Now, someone that's into bodybuilding that wants to look leaner when you're at the, near the, further down the line, it comes down to adjusting macros for your specific body. So not everybody's gonna get in shape of low carbs, not everybody's gonna get in shape of high, high carbs, lower fat. It comes down to the individual, which is why it's a very customizable thing, like you have to adjust your macros and trial and error it for your specific body. But the reason why many people mistakenly think that low carbs is the only way to lose body fat is because most of the traditional sort of bodybuilding lifters, when they're trying to get super, super lean, what do they always say? They always go, no, I'm not gonna be able to have any carbs anymore. No, I've gotta drop my carbs, shit, 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 shit. And it's a running joke that we always do in the videos. But the problem is, is that it's getting misconstrued. The people that are saying this, they know that on day one, when they start cutting, they don't drop the carbs to virtually nothing. It's a very gradual process. And over the course of say, say so much ready, 90 days, they don't drop from day one. It's just a gradual thing over time. But the problem is, is that a beginner just hearing that without any prior knowledge and they just hear the words, oh shit, I dropped my carbs. And that is the reason why that phrase has became so popular in many people that are more naive because they just hear little one-liners and things like that that make them think, oh shit, and from day one, they're virtually eating no carbs because they think that's the case when it's not. The traditional bodybuilder, they gradually will reduce the carbs over time. And even then, when they lower it, it's not lowering it to like 20. A lot of people like me in particular, my version of low carbs is literally no lower than say, it's 130 and that's the lowest I go. So it's all about knowing more information and realizing that there are many ways to do these things. But just a quick random one because it was from my Instagram live three days ago. Someone mentioned uh, that they are currently eating some ridiculously low calories and even though it's hard to be very custom with calories, to tell someone directly what they should be eating because realistically an individual needs to track for like a week to find out how much calories they should have to maintain their weight then get into a deficit. But what I can tell you is if you're a male that's five, six and above and you're eating less than say 1600 calories, there's no reason for it. I know girls that are like five foot five that eat 2100 calories and look perfectly fine and in shape, I'm telling you. So for those of you out there, 
that are eating that low, trust me, that's not the right way. I don't care if you think that you're fat, you under eating is causing more harm than good. You are literally ruining your metabolism, which can physically and visually make you look poor. If you ate the right amount of calories while training and, and eating fairly decent as well foods, you're, you may look heavier on a scale, but you will visually look better. A lot of people, when they feel like they're skinny fat or whatever, they try and keep under eating, and the problem is, is that's messing with all your hormones, which will give you the podgy areas on your body and look very soft, and you look very malnourished and weak. Realistically, I'd say under 2,000 calories, but just to make it super simple, under 600 calories is a no-no, especially if that's your maintenance calories. Some people have told me their maintenance calories is 900 calories. 900, and I mean that shit. It's absolutely insane. I even posted on Instagram because I was that outraged. That's not true. Whoever told you that is wrong. However you've worked out is wrong. It's not safe, it's not healthy. Be safe, people. I don't want any of you to get injured or hurt yourself by accident because you're chasing potentially abs or trying to get this fitness body, but what you're doing is under eating and starving yourself and causing more harm than good. Trust me, research, learn, and adapt. All right, people, I don't want to make this video way, way, way too long because the last one technically was longer than I wanted. It was 18 minutes. I want to get to my point. I spoke about the carbs thing. I've shown you a little bit of foods. They're giving you little gems. Hopefully, some of you follow them. So what I'm going to do is sit back. It's Friday. Eat some food. I'm probably linking with a friend later. So yeah, I'm going to eat my little chicken breast thigh fillet burger. People, and don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you're brand new. If you've made it this far. Teamwork makes the dream work. So if you're here, please hit the thumbs up button and please subscribe. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video.